A couple of weeks ago, I said how PlayStation Now could become a competitor to Game Pass pretty much overnight if it leaned on its huge back catalogue of games. But who knows if this will actually happen, right? Right? Well, I did some digging and I found this. So let's start with just the title of this article, Sony Files Patent to Enable Game Emulation Across PS1, PS2, PS3 titles. Now I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty close to what I was talking about. So check that video out first if you want to see how close I came to this patent. And once you've done that, put on your tinfoil hats and strap in because we're picking this thing apart. As you would imagine, this patent is in Japanese and my Japanese isn't to the highest standard, but my Pictionary skills are, and there are a number of things we can deduce from these images. The first obvious thing being this little bubbly thing right here clearly means the cloud. Now, PlayStation Now within the cloud appeals to a number of different audiences. It is accessible for single player games, for co-op games, and for multiplayer games. The problem is they have nothing to play. Look at them, there's just blank screens. I mean, this guy over here, he's reduced himself to just watching a guy walk up the stairs. And look at his face, L look at this guy. He's so dejected, he's so disheartened. And this is the problem that a lot of PlayStation Now players have with the service. A lot of potential in the cloud, but not a lot in the finished product that is PlayStation Now. And this is what Sony is going to fix. Now, as you can see on the left side here, this is clearly a PlayStation 3 console. This is a PlayStation 2. This is a tissue box, but it looks like a tissue box. But based on this information, I believe this to be a PlayStation 1. Now, I'm not sure of the proprietary software that is going to go into this, but it seems like these legacy consoles are going to use a range of Scrabble tiles moving in to a giant grain silo. Now that may not make a lot of sense on the face of it, but I believe this to be Sony's abstract representation of the cloud. It will take these classic games and grind them up, if you will, in this silo and disperse them into the cloud because there simply aren't enough CD discs anymore. You know, people don't even have disc drives on the new PlayStation 5. So how are they going to play these old discs? They put them in the silo, they grind up and they disperse game dust into the atmosphere, which take, is drawn up into the clouds. Now, this will open up PlayStation now to a whole range of people, much more than the smaller, relatively small group that use the service at the moment. So with this massively uh, expanded user base, they're going to have a lot more gamers. And I believe this last diagram is a BuzzFeed style quiz that gamers will take to understand what kind of games they're going to want to play on the service, maybe even what type of gamer they are. Now, the structure looks a little bit unconventional, but we can spot the clear yes or no answers. So I believe you've worked your way up through there and you'll find yourself in this categorization of gamers. Maybe you're a basketball player. Maybe you're a footballer. Maybe you're fencing. You like fighting games. Maybe you're like racing games. Maybe you're just a tank or maybe you'll be a replacement for traditional stone columns that are used to hold up platforms. So that's what I believe. And I think I've made a pretty good case for it there. There's also the original tweet, which the article is based around, and using Twitter's translation API for the English speaking among us, this kind of confirms what I've been saying. A large number of game titles spanning PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3 consoles can be used via the cloud gaming library. And these games can be run on virtual machines that mimic the operating system associated with each game console, which is an important bit of information that I'm going to unpack in a little bit. But to summarize, this basically opens up the entire PlayStation library from its inception all the way back in 1994. Um, and if this is the case, I mean, that is just fucking awesome. That means we're playing Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, Resident Evil, Metal Gear Solid, Tomb Raider, Gran Turismo, Silent Hill, Tekken, Final Fantasy, yes, even Parappa the mother rapper. But before we get too excited, I must point out the caveat to all this, and it's the fact that the patent mentions virtual machines. 
Now, anyone that streamed a PS3 game on PS Now will know what this means because whenever you go to save or load or sign in, you do that through the old PS3 user interface. And that's because you're essentially using a virtual simulation of a PlayStation 3 console within the giant grain silo in the sky, AKA the cloud. And this patent suggests that we'd be doing the same thing with PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games. So they would be stream only. So we wouldn't be able to download them. Hopefully streaming a PlayStation 1 game would require considerably less bandwidth than streaming a PlayStation 3 game, but it's still a bit of a letdown for anyone that doesn't have the internet speeds to do that or just doesn't like the streaming side of PlayStation Now, which I think is kind of most of us, to be honest. I mean, the only upside I see to streaming is that it opens the PlayStation Now library. It opens it up to PC users. But I think we'd all be happier if PlayStation Now, at least on console, was fully download friendly. Now, the reason it can't be like this, and the reason we have to stream PlayStation 3 games is apparently something to do with the PS3 architecture being so different to the PlayStation 4 that the PS4 can't emulate it. And I don't know any more than that. I've just read that. I don't know why it can emulate it when it's streaming, but it can't if it's downloading. But the fact is, I don't think it's going to change anytime soon. But the good news is that virtual machines mean the old user interfaces. That means I get to see this boot up screen again. That's, that's worth it, in my opinion. What more do you need? I mean, I'm not even looking at it right now, but I can feel it in my gut. Mm. I'm so ready for that, man. And the PlayStation 2 one, pretty good as well. This huge potential game altering change to PS Now is on the horizon, but there is no more info than this at the moment. And I should mention the same way the article does that patents don't always result in an end product. So this still isn't guaranteed by any means, but it does tie into the slither of information we looked at in last week's video. So the signs are there. However small the saplings of hope are, they are there, they are being planted. And honestly, that alone is enough to get me pretty hyped, um, especially if this change comes as more people get their hands on the PS5, which has had a very different launch to normal console launches because of the situation going on in the world, the stock just hasn't been able to meet the demand. So if PlayStation Now could grow at the same time as people getting more PlayStation 5s, that's gonna give Sony an opportunity to compete with Game Pass without doing what everyone thinks they would need to do and bring on games like a God of War sequel onto PlayStation Now. It may not even need to do that, or it definitely wouldn't need to do it the same day as their release, the way Microsoft does. But that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching guys. Please remember to like this video if you liked it and comment if uh, you wanna tell me something. Also, if you haven't seen uh, the other video from this week, uh, please go check that out. I've made another channel called Okimon Shorts, which is a kind of sister channel to this one where I make YouTube Shorts content, which is basically YouTube's answer to TikTok. And I do hate TikTok, uh, but I'm making YouTube shorts because I'm hoping that it brings some traction to this channel, ultimately. Um, I won't talk about it too much here, but please check out that video if you haven't already. Check out the Okamon Shorts channel and stay posted here for another probably commentary video like this. I'm also going to be going back to the compilation videos very soon. Um, just certain things, basically COVID regulations have stopped me making those normal videos because I'm not at the place I usually make them. So um, there's a little bit of delay on that, but they will be coming very soon. But thanks for watching. As always, stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.